like an are, old are Harry you guys Potter. like actual Harry yeah. Potter fans? Honestly, yeah, I've read all Tyler the books, is. watched all the movies, and I, I'm I'm kind of okay with them remaking it, at, and because they're gonna do like a year for every year of that they're in school. So like, so yeah, I've always had this theory about Harry Potter where I kind of think that it uh, is like. All right, let me put it this way. So, like, in most stories where, like, kids go to a magical world, they eventually return to their human world, right? Where it's like, oh, I went on a fantastical mm. adventure, and now mm. I'm going to take all the information and knowledge I've gained and return back to being human. Harry Potter, the wizards are considered a different race from the humans. Mm -hmm. So Harry Potter literally discovers he's an alien, goes mm. to be with other aliens, and then completely abandons the human world entirely. It's yeah. not like, oh my God, magic exists. I can take this back to the humans and we can use this to further science and further mm -hmm. our understanding of the Against universe. The law. No, I want to live in a separate caste system with my fellow aliens forever. And yeah, I have yeah. no more regard. The humans are all fat, dopey losers, like his family yeah, they or are. whatever else. They really don't mm -hmm. portray people very well in that show. It's an anti-human <laughs> story, Harry Potter. It is. Like, it's all these the, kids who go, I'm waiting for my Hogwarts letter. I'm like, so you're waiting to discover that you don't belong to the human race and belong to a higher cast of magical people that secretly has powers and, and, yeah. and despises yeah. us? It makes sense, though. We'd all be That's down with that. That's a fucked fantasy the, to teach kids. Remember, there's That's the, not good. <laughs> there's the one uh, family <laughs> no, that where one sister is magical and the other sister is not, right? Yeah. Like, like, like that... That's, I mean, that's that's Harry's aunt. The reason that Harry hates Muggles is because he's treated like shit by his family. The reason he's treated by shit by his family is because his aunt was the non-magical sister. Her sister was a fucking witch who got to go off to Magic Land, and every year be like, "Okay, bye, honey. I'm going to Magic Land where I fly on a broom and turn cats into candy. Have fun at elementary school." And she did that her whole life. So she resented her and hated her and thought she was awful. You know. And it's a big secret, too. So she can't even tell her friends why she hates her sister. She's got to be like, I just don't like her. She can't tell them that her sister's a fucking witch or they'll come and take her memory away. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they really are now. terrorists. They <laughs> are, yeah. It is just very, it is a deeply anti-human story. I remember I saw that first Fantastic Beasts movie. Did you mm -hmm. see that one? Yeah, and that, that fat baker guy, like, helps him out for the whole movie. He's Mario. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, okay. It's I'm like, wow, Mario. Thanks for helping us out. It's so great that humans and wizards can work together. Now we're going to wipe your fucking memory. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with these wizard people? They're fucked. This is evil. Yeah. And they can, they wipe his mind, but it's okay because he gets a hot wizard girlfriend at the end. No. Yeah. Like, humans it are seems like these wizards are causing more problems than they solve, and the humans need to, to put a stop. Muggles are thought of like children. Good. They're, they're essentially luck. children who you you go in the room and tell them what's going on. At the last minute, hey, just so you know, there's a whole terror thing going on, and you might see some bridges explode, some buildings fall down. That's our folk. Don't worry about it, though. That's the, like, like they come in. That's there's this great beginning to like fifth or sixth book where the mat, uh, they're in the prime minister's office, the real prime minister of, mm. of England, and then a wizard comes in through his fucking fireplace, and he's never seen a wizard before, and they, they explain to him, like, yeah, so that. There's this guy named Voldemort, and he's back, and he's like, he's like, and, and the, that to put it in that guy's terms, he's like, he's is he like a terrorist? Yeah, he's like a terrorist with you know magical powers and a few hundred followers. He flies and disappears and stuff, but yeah, they're treated like children. They're treated like stuff. idiots. Yeah, yeah. It's like I, I think mean, if you're writing children's fiction, it should be about hey, there's magic and wonder in this world in which you already live. Not you should pray. That a magic uh, letter arrives and tells you you are more special and unique than all of your peers, Dude. and you are whisked away from them and never have to engage with them ever. There's again. enough stories yeah. like that where everybody gets their fucking candy. I like this one. All right. Yeah, but why is <laughs> Harry Potter so? Doesn't it say something about the generation that Harry Potter is that popular? That there's an entire generation of kids who is like, I hate everyone I'm surrounded by, and I wish I was more special and wonderful. How's that different than Luke Skywalker? I was just going to say that. That that was how I felt. Because Luke Skywalker yeah. helps everybody else. He helps his human friends. He helps uh, Han Solo, and he's good friends. Who's Harry his Potter's human friend? Who is are barely Harry human? Potter's They're human all friend. superheroes. Who is Harry Potter's human friend? Um, well, you know, he he warms. He doesn't up love. Them. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have any. It's about abandoning humanity and Shit. going on a magic special adventure by yourself. I mean, he saves Dudley's <laughs> life, but that's kind of begrudging. You know, he's kind of got to save his brother's life. Dude, there's uh, actually a scene life. they cut out of one of the movies where Dudley, I think, goes. Hey Harry, I thought you were always a good guy. You know, take Dude, they care. A, they hug it out. I've seen yeah, they that. They hug it it's out. Sweet. 
and they took it out of the movie. Like the one thing that <laughs> humanized, like, oh, hey, humans are pretty good. They're not all shit bags. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, they. Fuck, I, I love it. I, I, I like that, that like the human, it's like this kid who's been treated like shit his whole life gets yeah. picked up and get, gets to go up and, 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 and live this life as kind of a demigod and he, he leaves behind <laughs> all those people who picked on him his whole life. And just the idea of having the powers of the Harry Potter world, I mean, it's better than any superhero. Yeah. Those are crazy, crazy powers that they have. Mm. There is, uh, I think it's 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 an enjoyable story. You do have to turn off your brain at some points, though. My only like, problem, you guys have time travel. That was the biggest problem for me. You know, oh, wait, yeah. you guys have time Always travel. Yeah, it's like yeah. Well, what do you use it for? So that the kids can take extra classes or retcon the events of this entire book. No, you don't get okay. it. It only works in book six. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, where were you guys during the Holocaust? And they're like, we were doing something else. We were doing wizard stuff. Oh, I'd love to do that. That would be such a good like YouTube <laughs> skit. Like like asking, asking uh, Dumbledore. Dumbledore, uh, remember like 1944-ish? <laughs> yeah, where were you at exactly? Poland. <laughs> we didn't stop Genghis Khan. We're not intervening now. Well, I think, <laughs> I think J.K. Rowling literally has like a that's when the wizard war is going on. Well, like Hitler first, was a war. powerful wizard, and we could <laughs> do not to stop him. That would yeah. be the best answer ever. That's what they do. <laughs> Dude, make that wizard. movie. Hitler's, Hitler's a wizard. Powerful wizard. Don't make Hitler's that movie. a dark wizard, <laughs> and that, they, that that's movie. how they explain it to the Muggles. Was World yeah. War II and the nuclear bombs at Hiroshima, Nagasaki? That was magic. That was all magic. We'd watch the shit out of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh Oppenheimer's coming out. It could have a Harry Potter esque twist. That oh, I, uh, hope so. that I hope Nolan. I want to see someone on a there. broom taking out kamikazes, like flying it amongst the <laughs> the kamikazes and hitting them with the wand, hitting them with the magic. Oh, again, if you out. have That's magic, awesome. yeah, this you is know just a superhero movie. That millions of people are being packed <laughs> onto trains. Do you not have a moral, you know, imperative to intervene? Don't you in know, Vito? Way? Those were the evil wizards. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is now. <laughs> you didn't know the Jews are the the, the evil wizards of the 